Hey and welcome back. Hope you had a good Labor Day. My name is Martyr and this is Let's Play Mega Man X. Last time we played, well, we got done with the Australian. Uh, what's his name? His name is Booma Kawanga. And we pretty much whipped his ass. His, his stage was more annoying than he was. And we are on our way now to go face the Chameleon. Sting Chameleon is his name. So I hope you guys had a good weekend. I know I did. I said that a lot, but you know. There he is, Sting Chameleon. Oh boy. There he goes. Oh, he has a long tongue. The ladies are a fan of the Sting Chameleon. This stage is pretty special and it has a lot of um, stuff going for it. You, there's a lot of stuff to get in this level, and I'll be showing that to you, don't worry. There's a there's a heart tank, there's a armor upgrade, there's a whole lot of nice stuff in this level. All in all, this level's not that annoying. It's just, um, it has its tricks to it, how about that? You gotta make use of the dash jump, and if you haven't gotten very good at that, well, you're gonna have a little bit of a hard time with this level. But I'm going to show you the first thing you need to dash jump to, because the second one is kind of boring as hell, uh, is down here. Now, this is a little bit easier if you defeat a launch octopus, because it's obviously full of water. Basically, this is for a heart tank right down here. And I like to break away all the rocks, because I'm a little paranoid about that kind of thing and basically what you do is that and there you go you get a heart tank easy peasy right well it's a lot easier than I just did it look it can actually be a bit of a pain in the ass if you don't do it right I know I died a couple times after I tried it the second one is up here you gotta get on top of this cave up here and there's actually a mini boss you have to fight and the mini boss is rather annoying but he has a couple little tips and tricks that I'll try to share with you as I hopefully defeat him Basically, his entire body is invulnerable, and um, he basically tries to jump on you from back and forth because he wants to like claw you that wall right there, which he'll show you right now. And what he does, if he gets you with the claw, is he rams you into the wall, and then you fly back, and you're like, oh, and then you just, you know, rinse, repeat. But what I like to do is I like to get in the range of his claw, shoot him a couple times, and run backwards, charge up again, and then as his claw withdraws, shoot him again in the head. Pretty simplistic. You can do it all over and over again, and it was pretty effective. Sometimes he'll nail you with it. Sometimes he won't. It really, if he gets close to nailing you, you just jump off the wall like that, and there you go. You rinse, repeat. It's really not that hard, but it's kind of annoying because you can't shoot his body, and he has a lot of health. He has like a lot of health. This guy. He's rather annoying. But once I do defeat him, I'm gonna show you what upgrade he gives me here because it's pretty freaking sweet. And at this point, it's going... Oh, there you go. Now you get to see what he does to me. <laughs> but, um... I, I derped all of his screen. Showing you once again that Martyr is not always professional. But once I defeat him, he gives me a pretty sweet upgrade, which I will show you here in a second. Once I defeat him... which You see how he's steaming like that? That means he's about... I don't know. I think he's about at 50% health. Yeah, and then once he dies, which will hopefully be soon here... He will give us the upgrade, the armor up. I shot the wrong direction. Derp! You can't catch me! No! I fought Australian robots. I fought a whole bunch of stuff. You guys can't hurt me. Can't touch this. In it, in it, in it, in it, in it, touches. Like I said, he's an annoying boss fight because he has a ton of health and you have to shoot him in the head. Ow. And there's the oh, I gotta stop shooting in the wrong direction. It's the only way to defeat him is by shooting him in the head, and then there he's dead though. Sweet. And like that, the entire armor upgrade comes up, and then my Jedi Master appears, and he's like, "This capsule contains a new type of body armor." What does it sound like? Albus Dumbledore. I'll never be able to figure out. It will reduce to your systems by fifty percent. Now, if you didn't catch that, what he's basically saying is that all damage will be reduced by 50%. So anything that did 4 points of damage will now do 2, 2, 1, etc, etc. And I got to get a shiny new little chest plate there. Yeah. Make a man certainly look like a... Make a badass. And we gotta wait for the camera to adjust here to get back down. And that's basically it. Those, those two little things are very be near the beginning of the level. And from here on out, it's kind of more simplistic. You're just heading towards the boss. And these guys are really simplistic. You just shoot them a lot and they just die. If you look at the roof, you can tell, you can tell where they're going to drop. You kind of have to be colorblind to miss them. 
I just completely missed that guy. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you had a good Labor Day. I am excited to be back this week. My crazy work week is not as um, is over, thank God. And well, we'll see if things calm down or not. We'll know. Who knows? But I pretty much have a lot more free time this week. So I'm going to be producing some um, more videos, and I'm even considering starting a new series, but I'm not sure um, when or how, but I know it's going to be happening soon. And with Mega Man drawing, it's, well, near end, because this series actually is very close to its opening over. Um, there's a lot of things that can happen. I mean, there's a lot of new games I'm considering playing. I have gotten some purchases off of Steam that I like a lot and I can't wait to share them with you. So that'll be sweet. Oh, look at that little extra life up here. Not that I don't think I'm really gonna need it, to be honest with you. But yeah, there's a lot of neat things in the works. I got a pretty cool indie game of the week coming up. Uh, actually, it was re it was uh, somebody requested me to make it um, indie game of the week. I've checked it out, it looks pretty cool. I think it's, for an indie game, it's very impressive, I have to say. So I'm looking forward to sharing that with you. Anyways, we're moving trucking along here. Basically, you're gonna come upon this annoying swamp area, and basically you're gonna just you're gonna have like a battle boss moment, as I like to call it. And you're gonna do what I do a lot, which is jump out of the water, the mud here. And as long as you don't back off, this place is pretty simplistic. Just gotta be careful. There, there's a couple areas that can get kind of annoying. But all in all, and you know what? I'm gonna just jump off here because there's another robot guy up ahead and if you're just really good with your timing and your shots he actually never even gets a chance oh dang it looks like he did that time though oh it looks like we're gonna have to battle him straight on as Mega Man oh there we go or we can just do that <laughs> suck on that you stupid robot guy he got out of his robot what a noob and there we go we're at the boss now the boss is like I said is a bit of he's a bit of a pushover this guy with the armor upgrade he really doesn't do much to us and with the boomerang He's kind of just easy to kill, to be honest with you. You'll see. He kind of attaches himself to the roof and does this this three-shot crap, and he turns himself invisible, blah, blah, blah. You'll you'll see. There he is with his giant tongue. He's like, blah, 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 blah. There he goes. <laughs> and basically, what you have to watch out for is if he, when he falls off the roof, he's going to try to land on you. And basically, that's it. He just does that over and over again. And if you just run away from him when you shoot him, he kind of dies with this, with this sorry, ridiculously easy. So just keep running away from him. And eventually he just he kind of just drops dead, I'm not going to lie to you. Like I said, he's really not that hard of a boss. There he is, he's dead. We have defeated the Sting Chameleon, by far probably the easiest boss we have fought. Launch Octopus was at least a little challenging. This guy took literally, I don't know, probably less than two minutes to defeat. <laughs> and we beep, teleport away as a Power Ranger. And check it out, we have a new shiny chest piece, and we don't have boobies anymore. We look like actually kind of like a football player. And we got the Chameleon Sting, which the ladies love the Chameleon Sting. It's like a beep. So, but that was, um, that was him. He's down. And believe it or not, we are now approaching the last two Mavericks and then the final boss, which is the Elephant Dude and the Hawk Guy, which I do believe the next person we're going to face is the Hawk Guy. Hawk! So there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for joining us. As always, tweet at me at Martyr J if there is a game you want me to play, and we will see you next time.